Hey everybody, welcome back. We, we died in a terrible way on our last run, but that's okay. We're gonna get there one day. Um, I really think, you know what? It's been a while since we just had a Hellhorn run. And we have not had a run that we've won that was Hellhorned and anybody but Awoken. So I'm gonna random, and if we get Awoken, we're just gonna yeet it. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Ah, are you kidding me, man? There's like a one in four chance. Here's the thing, I don't know what to choose, because I don't know how this stuff works. So why don't you just give me a random that's not green? The, the very simple fact of the matter is that you must be kidding me. We are now at a 1 in 16 chance of that happening, I believe. Um, let's see how this goes. Well, we've reset the RNG. There we go. There we go. Apply Rage 6. 3 damage Frostbite 8, so it's a Stygian Guard run. Rage Serum. So it's a Rage-focused run, and you purge buffs. Not amazing, but there is a relic that makes Rage not decay. Let's let's try this. We, we always go multi-strike, because it, it works so well with Rage, but... Um, we definitely want spells to get an extra upgrade, so I think you can make some disgusting, some disgusting spells. Non-boss enemy units enter with Spikes 3. That's bad. However, every time we get hit, our dude, our champion, is going to get Rage. And on Slay, he's going to get Armor... Armor 5. I'm just trying to see if we'll live here. <laughs> he will live. He's going to be quite upset. Why are you only taking 15? Because you're taking 18, but then you heal for 3? Huh? Um... It's a tough call, right? No. Nope. My philosophy is pretty simple. On the first floor, it don't matter. That being said, I think we are gonna lose our champion and uh, suffer quite prodigiously. <laughs> uh, <laughs> at least you'll die in the Oh, we're gonna live with one HP, let's go. Which means he's gonna get five armor and, and come back to life. Okay, okay, well not come back to life, but at least they have the ability to maybe hit the boss one time. You don't really scare me. You guys don't really scare me. But we have to do something. At least you're dying now. Okay, so we're going to put up some, some blocks out in front of our champion here. This way at least... Okay, we're doing some damage. Man, it would be really nice if you died. Then let's look at this. 67 damage. We don't really have too many other options, so we'll just hit you with some of that. We, we've got a lot of steps to take for this one to get to really any degree of safety. Um, it is an extra little bit of damage. Really, it, it stalls you long enough for the frostbite to do some damage, so... It's close. You're gonna hit our pyre once, which, considering the circumstances, I think we gotta look at that as a as a win. That's a win in my world. Um, okay, so we need a way to keep ascend. All these are fine. Enrage is kind of our focus, but I think really we need like a welder helper to keep our champion alive. We want our champion to the front, so they're doing damage. However, we also need them to not die, and we're not playing like an awoken build. Not so they can deal damage, sorry, so they can take damage and get rage to get slay triggers and get stronger. So I think Flash Freeze has been pretty good for us. It's like, a, it's a much, much better torch. A strictly better torch isn't worth too much, but a much, much better torch. Now we're talking. Okay. So a Stygian unit. Sweep spell weakness or encant. Even a one damage sweep is okay, but really this is for a spell weakness build, which doesn't really drive too much value for us. We're gonna try the Siren, even though I think the Siren needs upgrades to really do anything at all. Um, so. Rage Serum. Zero cro cost Rage 3 not exhausting is, is really good stuff. Plus 20 magic power and consume. I don't mind putting that on a torch, honestly, and then just getting it out of here. Hello, Tomo! Would be nice. Would be nice! And then a ritual of battle maybe being a little 
a little cheaper. It's kind of good stuff for me in my world. So we've made our deck thinner just via our consumes right now, but we're still we're going for a rage focus and it's a little spicy. So you're gonna be spiked up probably. Uh, enemy units appear on each floor. As long as we don't think our pyre is gonna die, we we have nothing to fear. And I think we should slow down. I think I'm playing a little fast. Um, so just slow it down. Just slow it down. Here's how I, I like this. I do want you to live. Two, five. So you're gonna take some damage. I, you're super gonna die if I play this the way I wanna play this. I think I want you down here. And I definitely want you dead. Oh, it gave you an encant trigger, huh? Then can I... I can play you and have you live, but there's no way you're gonna live on the next turn. So you know what? I kind of feel like I put you at the back on this floor. You get you get plus one damage. All right, I'll, I'll take that trade off to do six and also get an encant trigger on you. It's gonna be another spicy one. This this is it's a little jank to begin with, but just work with me. We're, we're gonna get there. One day we're gonna get there. Twenty-two damage, huh? I think you got it. I'm not too worried about that, but work with me here. You gotta do something like this, and then this. Now we're getting a slay trigger. You're also dying. So then I think we like this. <laughs> And it's getting dangerous. But we, we got something happening here, too. Okay, so you, we like you. Where's our welder helper, dude? We need him next turn. That dunk, that dunk, that dunk. That dunk, the dunky dunk. I don't mind you doing more damage to our pyre. You're going to get one extra hit if I let you heal. I could kill you with a flash freeze, but I think I'd rather put some extra rage out here. But I think, really, we want the rage to go on you. I can still hit you with a flash freeze, because I'm stupid. So take one of those. Oh, you're still going to get two hits in. That changed nothing. All right, so Spike Lord, we hate it. You're not taking as much damage as I would like here. We want you here, so you even take one more hit for this fool right here. You got to go. You got to go. You're so close to dying. You're not dying, but you're so close to dying. 11 HP. You know what? I mean, that just gets you. There you go. All right. So we're definitely not at perfect levels yet. But we that went a little smoother, I'd say. Pardon me. Do we like the, the molting imp that much? The, in this situation, I actually feel like the answer is no. I really don't feel like we need a third ritual of battle, and I just don't like the, the horn piercing. At the end of your turn, apply Frozen to a random card in your hand. Am I weird to think that that's pretty... Well, I don't know if it's that good. We already have two flash freezes, right? Yes. I, I think we're going to skip again, and it's... You don't do that early too much, but... In fact, I, I can't with confidence say that I think we did the right play there. Um... Dude, a hell vent is always good, but if you're duplicating your best card, we're talking about getting like another rage serum out there. I don't think that's good enough for us. So I think we'll we'll go take a look at a Stygian unit. Man. You're really you're really kind of working me over on this one. I'll tell you, I think we can make a large stone cuz I'm trying to it just gives plus 1, right? Plus 1 capacity. Large stone do we start with five capacity or six? Either way, we're going to take capacity first. I want to make the sweep unit stronger and tankier. Still be able to put champion and still be able to put welder helper out there. That's that's my current play. Um, let's also make the siren of the sea a little better by default. And plus 25 HP doesn't interest me too much. Plus 10 damage does interest me a little bit. So you got a, a, a nicer, more balanced unit. Do we like... I, I think anything applied to a sweep unit is worth the money spent on this one. Uh, this one is the feeling of a run that's not going too well, though. And you're the curse... 
You're the curse situation, right? Playing a Blight card deals 100 damage to the front enemy unit. With Spell Weakness, there's a chance that maybe that does something for us, but... Friendly units get plus one for every Blight card in your deck. We already have one Blight card from Deadweight, so sure. When you play your first Blight card, each turn restore five Pyre health. I just don't think that the value of the benefit for the taking the curse outweighs having the curse cluttering up your deck yet. I don't I don't think I've ever seen a time where I've been like, oh, that makes sense. Like, it almost made sense if you can get, like, double synergies from Blight cards, but we're not there yet. So it's a, it's a very tough sell. We do only have five capacities, so we can't play the Welder Helper. So you may want to put these guys up on different floors. Like, for example, maybe you set, maybe this is what we should have done to begin with. You set up the Icy Silophyte here. Then the Hornbreaker Prince has a chance to do some more damage or get more slays on the next floor anyway. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. So I think uh, there's two ways you play this. We could give you six Rage, which will almost kill you. But it doesn't really change the way that this goes. I think I'd rather keep you alive longer by doing something like that. And then the train steward really doesn't have a reason to exist, but we can have you here as kind of like a... Again, we, we want our champion to get hit. We just want him to get hit and then also have Welder Helper keep him alive. Which is what we're trying to do here. So I think we want Welder Helper to get in front of you. That's big. And then we want... Uh, Flash Freeze. You had a damage shield, huh? F. F's in and around chat, please. Um, well, you're not going to get the slay, so I think we just try to minimize damage taken. That, that was just badly played. But our, dude, our large stone sweep unit is crushing on the bottom floor. I'm a, I'm a big fan of how this is going. Um, you're, you're doing great. We're still not getting a slay trigger, which is very frustrating. Is there any way to finesse it? I would need to do seven damage. I, I can't get to seven. I can get to five or I can get to 22. <laughs> uh, I think we do it like this. Get you in a bad spot. Make sure you don't do any more damage than you're entitled to. At least the rage is building. Kind of. Um, hold on. Rage three. Six extra damage. I can't believe I still can't get you there. That's like... Is blowing my mind, kind of. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now we got you there so we can get that slay trigger. And we can give you the rage because you're hurting every enemy. I still think that's your play. We just want to make sure you don't live long enough to do more damage to us than you deserve. In its own jank way, this does feel smoother. Um, you are going to hit us really hard. There's very little I can do about that. Um... We are going to get a Slay Trigger, so I don't think we mess with this. Although, by killing you, we probably would be able to kill you. Okay, I think you do this, a similar thing as usual. I think you torch this unit so you take less damage. Kill you, which should make you killable. And then with your Train Steward, I don't know. Maybe just put the Train Steward out there to tank a hit for your, your sweep unit. That's really like your... It's kind of your, your reason for existence right now. Um, and you guys are doing fine. This has not been perfect. I would never suggest this has been a perfect run. But I think, um, we give you the rage. You're doing a lot more. We give you the rage again. 185. <clears throat> uh, so Frostbite 8 does, like, 28 damage over time. This is 8 times 7, which is 56 divided by 2, I think. Or is it 8 times 9? Which is 72... No, I think it's 8 times 7 divided by 2. Um, you're dying on the first turn anyway, so I think it does all of its damage when we apply it to you. This run is not... It has not come together yet. One day, <laughs> perhaps, I'm like... Yo, Giving you Rage 3 is pretty tempting, but I think just stacking up the Frostbite has a more multiplicative effect, for sure. Wouldn't mind summoning on the top floor really any unit at all, and I, I, I stand by my uh, assessment. You will live long enough to hit the Pyre. But the Frostbite did eventually get you. This is not great, though. Dunka, da dunka, dunka. 
Honestly, I think we, we could actually have a lot of value from Siren Song right now. Our Pyre is in a little bit of trouble. This is an important one. I think our champion sucks. So I think we don't really need anything to protect our uh, sweep unit. We don't really want anything to protect our champion, though. Our champion is kind of like it's supposed to kill enemies and get stronger. So I think maybe a rail beater on the bottom. Here's the way I look at it, okay? Three units come in on the bottom floor. Tank. Support, support. The rail beater hits the tank. They move to the back. Sweep is going to do a lot of damage anyway. But then when they move up a floor, the weaker units are in a position maybe for our champion to get to them. And we do want the capacity, in my opinion, here. Um, but it's we're not there yet. And I'm, I'm hoping we could get there, but we're not there yet. And that should be obvious. Uh, there's a lot of value in all of this. But probably... In my opinion, we still look for making our pyre, or sorry, making our spells better. We don't really get that much out of this, though. I think I think we we can wait a floor. Um, this is tempting, but I think we're actually going to take armor five. We've been dealing with a lot of we're, we're struggling to keep our champion alive in particular. So in terms of removal, like the train stewards exist just to tank hits. And the, the torches, we can at least turn into good spells if we get enough money, because spells have three upgrade slots. But slay, gain armor 10. We really, really want you to, to get these slay triggers, and then be kind of... We want you to get a kill per turn. That's that. And we are going to try the... Here's the thing, it's dangerous. Normally, well, you don't turn on the spikes because they're, you know, the sweep units get bodied. But in this case, our sweep unit is, like, insanely strong. Dunk, 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 dunk. And now we can fit Rail Beater up here, which is what we like. Um, I think you do want like a Siren. I think you want something like that. I think we need more armor cards to make sure that we can protect our champion. Let's put it that way. So are you getting the Slay? No, you're getting the Slay. You guys are all taking a lot of damage, which sucks real bad. Um, but I don't have anything that can target you. And please remember, Siren Song only works on the front, or on the top floor. So we could really only ascend this thing. But, you know, we'll just do that instead. <laughs> um, so you're dying, which is nice. Who deserves the armor? I think in this case, you could put the unit up at the front. But without Endless, you're not a, a huge fan of it. Um... It does still do work. I'll, I'll live with it for now. It's really the the purpose of the imp is not to live. Although I guess it doing one extra damage per turn wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Um, so we'd really like you guys to go. We didn't get the torch we wanted. You going is nice. Now you you can we get the slay trigger? Oh, you had Spell Weakness, that's right. Oh, we, we already got the Slay Trigger. Um, so what, what's your best card? It's a pretty obvious one. Um, we need to put it on you, because you're already going to die to the Rail Beater Sweet Hit. Or really just a Sweet Hit. But Alright, so remember the value of Spell Weakness. I've probably forgotten it a few times already. I think we definitely need you to go. We would definitely like you to go. Whether we need you to go is a... It's complicated. And honestly, you're the unit most likely to live. So please just take my rage. Take my rage, please. And then put the train steward there just to tank a hit. And you're doing 5, then 26, then 21. I think we want to make sure you get closer to death. One spell weakness was not going to change the, the timbre of that one. All right, brief respite is not a bad place to be for brief respite. Um, I think you need more rage. And that's that's our turn. How's this looking? Sweep is gonna body us here, so if we could get rid of you, like even one of you. And move the needle. Maybe not as much as I would like. 262. 262 but six spell weakness. Uh-huh. 
42 damage. You're dying in one hit, huh? So there's nothing we can do about that. We might as well put this on you. Now you're taking 54. We're really do. Are we going six times six on this one? Do we have a better spell coming around? No. Um, so yeah, we're gonna accept 36 damage. You do have 300 HP. And I think we want to double up on the frostbite. That's a lot better. But I think it's very clear we're suffering. I, I don't even know if our pyre will live, dude. Uh, I think it might be dead. This might be the fastest monster train run you've ever seen. So, you know, this one, it it never really felt right, I'll admit. Don't don't even, come on, get me out of here. That's, I don't even want to, don't, don't give me this patronizing. We're going to do the daily challenge real quick because I, I feel bad. Um, so it's Umbra Awoken. The first friendly unit summoned each turn, you get a copy. Shuffle the position of all units in the train after combat. Small hands! Minus two cards per turn. That's terrible, dude. That's terrible. But your first unit gets summoned twice. That's not terrible. Apply two damage shield to the first unit summoned per turn. Oh, baby. Um, I mean, a doubled up trample is substantially better than a doubled up uh, gorge. Because we can't get the double gorge to work. So let's uh, let's close the left side here. You never know what you're going to see in there. <laughs> like, I don't even know what I'm seeing right now. So let's just get that out of here. Um, Spikes 3 don't scare me, although they do mill your damage shield down super quickly. There's no doubt about that. They don't both get damage shield. Though that would have been sick. Um, let's get you stronger and honestly I don't see the need to play a train steward yet. probably should have played it up a floor especially because we're drawing so little um, really rather just give you a damage shield here and with only three cards say what you will the turns are a lot easier to play and then you guys can't even gorge we can gorge a train steward I suppose with a double gorge you're both dead. All right. <laughs> That's pretty strong. That's a strong start. And let's remember, the first unit summoned is summoned twice. So Gorge is worse, but everything else is better. I really feel like Primal Dust is your best card there. And uh, I know I take Glimmer a lot. I, I, I still like it here because I feel like we like cards that do more than one thing because we draw so few. Now, if that makes no sense, I apologize. I think we want Awoken units more than we want um, non-Awoken units. Actually, don't mind this. Uh, because the, the Umbra units with Gorge are going to do nothing for us. Endless, I don't think matters that much. Spikes, I think matters a little. And more HP, I think matters a lot. Hello, Tomo. We definitely do not want to make a super train steward. In fact, start getting these guys out of here. We can do two of them out of here. That's fantastic. All right, it's not a bad start. What is it, Tomo? Are you a happy boy? He's a happy boy. Don't worry about Tomo. He's a happy boy. Instigation died on battle five. Let, let's see if we can beat Instigation. We're turning on all of our... Benefits here. We're turning on all the trials because this is about score, baby. All right. These guys, less damage per turn. Very important. You have stealth? No stealth. Donkey, donkey, donk. I think you start there. And then... That's, that's what you like to see. You know what? I'm a fool. No, I'm not a fool. But you should save your Penumbra. Because if you play it later, you get double the benefit out of it. And I think there's sense and sensibility there. Look, look you're getting out, okay? You're, you're gonna get out. I wish I had something. I wish I played something up there. I don't wish I played the Penumbra, really. I think saving the Penumbra is gonna help us out. I hope. Um... And we do still like that. Um, and we might as well get this train steward out there. And then you're probably going to be up at the front here. 
All right, Penumbra, please. No, okay. Uh, but the boss is dying anyway, so who cares? Turns out uh, that's not that bad. Turns out that still worked completely fine. Wish I'd gotten the gold, though. I really don't think morsels are that valuable. Them getting doubled sounds great in principle, but I don't really think it is great in principle because uh, we, we'd, we'd rather double a unit that isn't so bad that they made it cost zero. Um, I think Restoration Detonation, mostly for the heal, we like it. Now, Crucible Collector is kind of an interesting play, right? If you can get this out here and not have it double itself, it's very nice. Uh, we do have some Shade Splitters. I think we can try. And to be honest, we're probably going to take Draw after we beat Daedalus, which gives us a better chance to get something useful out of that card. Um, it's another Umbra unit. I'm just, like, disinterested <laughs> in, in the whole idea of taking another Umbra unit. Um, look. Maybe we can remove Consume later. Maybe we can't. It's all good. Making something free is not super relevant, uh, but, you know, in a situation like Cave-In, where it's, it costs us almost our whole turn, sure. Now I know what you're thinking. A double Morsel Maker creates twice the Morsels. It doesn't need a Morsel Master. All right, sir, I will. I will take your three Dante's Candles. If you make me draw those all in one turn, I'm going to be very upset. But you are going to be a great unit to summon multiple copies of. But we need so much more draw. Our draw is so bad. All right. So if you get your champion, you summon your champion. If you get your sweeps, maybe you summon your sweeps. Let's, let's see how we think about this. We got our sweeps. It's going to take us a long time to get through this deck, brother, but... I really, I think you do it. I think you do it. Now, do you still summon one of these guys? I think, I think maybe you do. I think we learned last time. The fight might be over by the time we get, you know, back there. Um, so you're going to get, like, stupid powerful off of these gorges. Now, you're taking just, just bad damage, but there's not much we can do about it. We're going to put a human shield up in front of you. It's not going to change things too, too much. Um, oh, we don't have enough amber. Fair enough. Oh, we're getting shuffled like crazy. That's right. <laughs> we got morsel makers up at the front. Uh, uh, it's a wild one. It's a wild one. Um, honestly, I like a crucible collector. But I'm also like, you know, maybe you just having two damage shield would, would do wonders for us here. This is going to be a very strange run. We can't control what goes where. That's I've just got to, you know, bake that into my cerebral cortex. Um, no. Getting them out of our deck is worth something, but... At the cost of, like, our whole first floor being kind of trash? I don't know about that one. Um, so you guys are doing great. Keep it up, sweetie. Uh, okay, hear me out here. I think maybe we do do that. Which summons two of these, which is nice. And then I still think keeping you as strong as possible with the damage shield does some great work for us. Uh, it's weird. It's just a weird one. You're all doing great, which is fantastic news. Um, you know? You you wouldn't come with us? <laughs> we still got it, but I'm like a little upset. Alright, so we, we made it through battle three, but this is a it's a very strange run. Um I think Unleash the Wildwood is actually pretty good for our sweep floor when it happens. I think we take nothing. I, I don't... I think these are too weird for us. I really genuinely think we take draw. What a, what a strange world we find ourselves in.
I did not mean to click on this side. Um, I was just trying to click to make this our active window. Rip. Uh, but you know what? It is what it is. We'll take our useless pyre advantage. The first time each turn an enemy unit dies, add two morsels to your hand. Okay. We're still gonna go super trample. Pun intended. But man, that left side's looking mighty juicy. <laughs> All right, keep it rolling though. Keep it. It's just the daily. It's just the daily. All right. I almost like don't want to have sweeps on the first turn this time. I think this is fine. All right. So you guys, you get strong after death. I think we let you go to the to the pyre just so we do more damage on floor one. Um, and then again, you know, this is a great situation because we actually don't want multiple uh, crucible collectors, really. And we don't want multiple morsel makers either, so we've actually managed to luck into basically the perfect first turn draw for, for our purposes. Now, it's gonna be weird because the, the crucible collector is not really doing much for us simply as a result of the fact it's constantly moving and is not guaranteed to gorge, but, you know, it's the thought that counts or something. Uh, We're really doing, like, nothing here, huh? Um, so I could kill one unit with Restoration Detonation. That seems not necessary. Um, let's give uh, let's give our sweep units a little bit more power here. And then I, I really think, you know, just put some damage shield times two on you. Our Pyre is going to take hits. So be it. These guys are doing a wonderful job down here. Um... Dude, I actually really, really like this cave-in. We've got four very strong units on this floor, and now this floor is just good to go. Um, and because I live in a backwards world... No, you don't want two train stewards. That's just stupid. <laughs> Hear me out here. Play this, but then, like, what about, like, two of these? And then a train steward up in front, and then a morsel jeweler down at the back. And we can maybe make one good train steward? I don't know, man. It's it's really weird. I think... Well, you know what? I think you can get away with this for zero. Um, to make this guy even stronger. I mean, there's no other place to put this stuff, so... Um, we might as well just put more damage shield on you. Nobody's getting out of the first floor anymore, which is a pretty solid... Indication that everything's going fine up here. This is a good uh, Unleash the Wildwood setup. Get this garbage out of my hand. Um, let's make you even stronger. And then there's no reason to play this. We can't even put it anywhere. Um, you are slightly hurt. Okay. You're dead. Say no more. We did lose a champion. That feels bad, but... And actually, we lost a lot of score, but... Consume. Draw a unit and enhance it with plus five times damage and minus X energy cost. Um, so let's say you play this for two. It gets ten damage and minus two cost. Eh. I don't know if I see it. I don't know if I see any of these, honestly. I think I kind of see this as a skip. Invigorating solution seems, especially if we could get it to not consume, it could help us out quite a lot um, by really nullifying the effects of our debuff for the daily. And yes, thank you, I will take Dante's Cloak, which we did have on our last Umbra attempt as well. Um, Stygian Guard Umbra attempt, I should say. But this guy, he's going to do really well. We, we for sure want the spell side. Um, Remove consume and cost plus one. This is where we want to be. So we remove consume. You cost one. Now you cost... No. No, 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 no. Now you cost zero. You love to see that. Okay. Um, plus 20 magic power and consume. This goes straight on a restore to basically remove it from our deck. Quick reroll, because hold... I was just going to say holdover is really good, dude. 
There is something about like, you know, you want Holdover to be good. Holdover Cave-In is interesting. I don't know if it's good, but it is very interesting. Oh, this is... It's an interesting one. Um, do you really want to draw Cave-In every turn? No. Do you really want to draw Razor Sharp Edge for zero every turn? I think we can... I think we can be okay with that. And we'll make another restore. Essentially garbage. Um, and I, I, I... Oh, you know what? I forgot we had a little extra juice as well. Um, I, I really do think there's enough there. We could... Uh, especially applying that to our multi-strike like Dante unit. I think there's a chance. I think there's a chance on that one. Non-boss enemy units get multi-strike, but it gives us an artifact. We gotta try. At some point, when we get so committed to the run that we know we're safe, or we, we feel like we could win, counterintuitively, perhaps, we'll stop doing the trials. But for now, I don't see a good reason to stop that. So your multi-strike means nothing to me. But do you play one Shattered Shell? I think it's still always good to get the unit out there. And we get a chance to buff them. You know? I think it, I think it does enough. So Dante... Do we want to double him? Yeah, I don't see a good reason not to. Let's put it that way. And then we'll just double him up on the top floor here. and You know, that at least we're getting gold. Now, uh... You are hitting us for... T you're, we're getting taking a lot of damage. Um... I think... We, c we can't get in front of you. We've summoned the unit twice already, so we're just gonna make... We're gonna keep making you stronger for now. And we're gonna put up one block on you. Losing one champion is not the kiss of death. But losing both champions is nasty for sure. Uh... So the real game plan was was well not maybe not that one. We don't have to play that one. Do we want a doubled up morsel maker? Yeah. Yeah. I think the crucible collector is kind of the odd man out, unfortunately. So I actually just quite like the restore. And then maybe we could go like one of these. One of these. And now it's about to get messy. We're gonna be holding right click. A lot. <laughs> you got too many units to, to adequately descend. But, like, I don't mind ascending you, but do we have anything that could protect us? Yeah? Okay, hold on, hold on, dude. This could totally screw this up, but it'll be funny. Um, and then just give you a huge damage shield? It's gotta be you. You're not living. Which sucks. However, it's still funny. Not totally sure what happened on that floor. Um, you guys are going to get a huge buff, huh? You need to get healed. So you, you do something like this. Do we want to double up on a unit? I mean, doubling up on a unit in front doesn't do anything for us. Then we'd much rather double up on these guys to make you stronger. And then I think we gotta go. Unless you're... No, you haven't really been hit. The more you heal, the better off you're gonna be for certain. You, you get a harvest trigger. I don't really want to make you stronger, so I feel like we don't even summon these guys. But our Pyre is in a dangerous spot. It's gonna take a bunch of damage. I think I like the order that we got things in here. That seems pretty good. Um, one of you is dying. I don't like that as much. You're really are you're, you're the thing we're worried about the most here. And you do 20. We can afford to take two off of you then. That does way more damage. Quite, quite a bit more. I'm just looking and I'm like, our glimmer is not going to do it for us. So we might as well use it here, and you're almost dead. So really, all we need to do is live through these guys. 
Will we? Uh, I, I believe so. But we are going to take quite a lot of pyre damage. Or maybe we're dead. Okay, we lived. All right. I, there was never a doubt in my mind, for the record. I was 100% confident at all times. You're taking seven damage this turn. Not great. Um, this has got to go. And I really think 11, you do 20 to... Oh, my God. I think we're done, dude. Um, I, think, I think we might be done. Yeah, doing zero is not where you want to be here. Um, but what if... <laughs> what if you put out two of these boys? Now you're, you're dead. Oh, my God. He's done it. Don't mess with it at all. Not only did we live, there was never a doubt in my mind. I knew, with 100% confidence, I knew we were making it through there. Uh, spells gain an extra upgrade slot. It's very, very nice. So Void Binding is, is super good for us. For that exact situation. Um, I don't think we really need anything else here. Like, our, our heals are fine. Are we at the second boss, or are we... We are at the second boss. I think we... This is a win-win, but we do have to heal our pyre. Holdover is... <laughs> sure. That's... it. I mean, I, I look at this and I say to myself, yes. We'll get some more restores going here. Um, nothing's too expensive, but... Sure. Let's make uh, cave in cost zero. I don't know if we should cave in again. I feel like that caused us some problems. Um, purge a card, gain a card. Train steward's got to go. What do you grab? What do we want a rare awoken? Restore a friendly unit to full health, then swap damage and health. I'm gonna take it just because I feel like I don't understand. And that's all I really need. That's all I need to, to take it to the next level. Um, in my opinion. If I don't understand it, it must be good. That's what I'm saying. So you know how I feel. I'm, I'm a big fan of the uh, of the double penumbra. Gets a lot of momentum done early. I think we just like a crucible collector getting out there. And then, you know, don't send him down. Don't send him down. No, but you're taking two damage. Okay, guess what? You're taking one damage. There you go. Problem solved. So this first floor is handled. Now, if you want to double up on something... It will make it impossible to gorge. I think we really prefer doubling up on you. And then we really would like to find a way to get Dante out there. So you know what? There you go. There you go. We don't, we don't need two Dantes. I'm content with, with merely a single Dante. I don't mind you taking 10 damage. I think I can live with you taking 10 damage. I would like you to get stronger. I really just want you to have lifesteal. And then uh, block a little damage on you. Ah, you encanted though, but you're still going to die. Okay, big armor boost. Ain't what you want to see. Um... We really almost do not want a double Morsel Maker. But I think we can accept it. It, it. I think we'll get three Morsels per turn, which is still pretty good. And then you guys will give you the lifesteal, not that you need it. And, uh, you know, a lot of, lot of the same thing going on down here. We're really putting in a lot of work on the bottom floor. This is not taking too much damage. So this is, now all of a sudden we're drawing way more cards every turn. We love it. So we restore you to full health. You love to see it. Do we double up on anything? Sure. Why, why don't we double up on this son of a gun right here? 
And everything else, I think you just do not play. I think you don't play them. I'm not even trying to keep up with all the movement and the swapping, because it's just... I, I don't think it's sensible. <laughs> um, I think maybe... We just... Like, we're losing a morsel, so who cares? I think maybe we just do this, and then we say, you know what? Go ahead and grab, uh, just get more attack. Just get some more attack. It's that one statue at the top. It's, it's just gonna take a while to kill, because our sweep units are tanky, but don't really do that much damage. Um, so you're always gonna be playing this. Now, Dante really crushes with that zero-cost, uh, Razor Fist. You know what? I'm like, what about this? What if you make this unit a 35-11 instead of an 11-35? That's doing some more. That's doing some more meat. Why don't you get super strong? And we'll uh, still get one of these out here as well. Exciting. I think we've, for the first time in like four battles, we've built relatively well. Um, do we want to send any units? Probably not. So what are, you're you're already dying. I do like just getting the heal. Um, I, we definitely want that out of there. And Dante is going to continue to get to a dominant place. Really, just want you to get as strong as possible. And I think you just think you just stall. Think you well, yeah, no, I think you just stall. I think you stall on that one. We did some pretty okay damage to the boss. So we're on the final wave now. We're doing 280, which is low. What you'd be looking for is some kind of way to, uh, like a damage shield. But we don't have a damage shield. I think we just accept that you're going to uh, get to us here. So we like this. Doesn't get us any extra attacks just because of the way the HP works. I think you're going to make Dante stronger and hope he doesn't spawn at the front. <laughs> that would be bad. And then... Uh, I actually feel well. Life steal is really nice. You, you don't have any life steal. Well, it doesn't matter. We can we can play both. So get a double life steal out there, and then play both of these sons of guns. And you're uh, we're really just again trying to create some nightmare floors where the boss gets ground down. So Dante is at the back, which means you're dead. That's fantastic news. He's he's not doing much for us on the run until the end. At the end, he can really his his. It's his time. And that was a huge score bonus. We don't need to apply trample straight up. Um, getting a little extra energy. I think we do like that. C capacity doesn't seem necessary. And draw, we're already doing fine. We just have to draw the offering or whatever it's called. Uh, you know what I mean, the one with holdover. Um, so what we want to do is make our damage shield no longer consume. We cannot accomplish that here. Take me here instead. We're not going to double our draw. It's just gonna, it's going to get ridiculous. And not in a good way. Um, like invigorating solution. We're not going to double that. What are we going to double then? When you put it that way. It's a really good question. We still like our trample. That's 300 damage turn one. I think we like the doubling. It doesn't have to be 10 out of 10. Even just doubling a Primal Dust, I think, is okay. But probably this Razor Sharp Edge. We are going to draw two of them per turn, which is maybe a little more than we'd like. But enemy units enter with armor 20. We're going to try it. <laughs> I feel like we got something kind of beautiful going on this. Armor 20 doesn't compare that well to... Uh, you know, this much damage that we got going out this early. What do you mean? We can't cast you? Okay, so we lose. Um, I didn't... Re it's completely my fault. Let me start by stating the obvious. It could not be more my fault. Um, but that's going to... That's going to create some pretty considerable problems for us.
I think we gotta throw you up here. We're trying to get the gold and also live, ideally. Um, and then, you know, maybe <laughs> make you stronger, I don't know. Uh, it would be best if you just took a hit and then we put the damage shield on you. Um, I'm not... I'm not gonna suggest that it's impossible. I would now suggest that it's probably impossible. That one, that, that hurt me deep down in my core. I, I don't know. We, we don't really want to double. I mean, we do want to double Crucible Collect. No, but if I do this, maybe you'll. Both of you will live. Both of you will live! 20? Oh, you're getting crushed, dude. Um. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we can play you. We can play you. Thanks for taking eight damage for me. That might be the biggest mistake I've ever made in Monster Train. That is really bad. I'm mad, but it's like the kind of mad where you're like, I know it's completely my fault. Um, it's that kind of mad. I'm just hoping one of you will live. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we die on this turn. Well, that uh, that hurts. Yeah, that's, I mean, again, it's completely my own fault for not even noticing that the capacity got higher than the base capacity. So, yeah, that full stop, My, I'm stupid. Uh, and that actually, that put us way down here. That hurts. Because I think we were on a good run. But it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the run in spite of that. If you watched all 52 minutes of it, I'm going to assume you did. In which case, I'd love you to click the like button. It helps me out a great deal. And, of course... Helps me get some algorithmic juice. We'll be back to try again. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!